Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms. It is about the second week of February 2020. Oh, it's about, I don't know, 65 degrees out right now and windy as heck. We've got about 20 mile per hour winds out of the south and have had that for the past four days. But I need to get working on planting my potatoes because it's going to rain on Monday and this is going to be the only opportune time I have. I'm going to use these four rows. You use tractor to do this, let me show you how I do it. One byproduct of living in Kansas is that you get these strong south winds that blow for days on end and everything on your farm goes all over the place. The good news is that my tunnels are holding up fairly decently. No major damage on any of them. All the tarps I had out have successfully blown away and all those I had laid out are now up against the uh, side over there. But, other than that, it's really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and start planting these potatoes using my granddad's old tractor. Now we're going to be planting out these four beds today. Went through uh, in fall and made all these beds over here in this new plot. I limed and mineralized them to get everything up to about where it should be at. Uh, a couple days ago I went through and ran the uh, tiller on the back of the tractor and rebroke everything and then went through with the broad fork. That's what all these little notches are in here. Went through and broad forked this bed out. Now I'm going to go through and spread fertilizer and compost. We're using this stuff right here. It's Nature Safe's 8 Five, five. And I figured out for my 40 foot long beds, one 32 ounce, that's 32 fluid ounce cup, gives me about two pounds, which seems like I should give me about 150 to 175 pounds of nitrogen per acre for this. And that's what we're shooting for, is 150 to 200 pounds per acre of nitrogen in these beds. Next we're adding one five gallon bucket of compost for each bed. And again, my beds are 40 foot long. Potatoes require a deep cultivation to get good potatoes to set. For this, we're gonna use the tractor with the tiller behind it. What I did already is uh, kind of emulated the double dig method that a lot of people say to use. It's where you uh, dig down and you move the soil out and then you dig it again and flip it and it's a whole process. But to kind of do the same as they were doing the double dig, I went through, got the surf prepped and then after that went through the broad fork and broad forked all these beds out. So that gave me my deep cultivation. Now I've got my amendments on the top of the soil. We're going to do more of a shallow cultivation. I'm going to sink the little mini tiller I have as far down as we go. Now potatoes are the only crop that I will till the soil on after the beds are initially made. And that is just due to the requirements. So we're going to run the tiller and I'm going to switch out to a double bottom plow. The one that's kind of shaped like a V so it pushes soil on both ways. And that's going to, I'm going to dig my trench out and we'll drop the seeds in from there and then cover back up and then I'll leave us extra soil hopefully to hill them back up later. Um, after this is all planted out, I'm going to put landscape fabric in between the rows so it'll be in the walk path and then it'll come up to the center of the row and the center of the row over here on this side. So it'll just leave 
a groove down the center that is not covered. So here we go. Now I'm going to dig the furrow for actually planting the potatoes. For that I'm using a middle buster, which I was mistakenly calling a two bottom plow earlier for you tractor aficionados out there. Uh, for this I'm just going to drop it down about eight, nine inches in. Give me a nice furrow to drop my seed potatoes in. And I'll use this same attachment when it comes harvest time as well. Now here is my box of seed potatoes. I halved them or quartered them depending on the size. These are all Yukon, so I'm going to plant two rows of these. I cut them uh, about two days ago, let them out to uh, harden off where the cuts were so they don't rot. And I'm going to plant them in row, in a single row that I just furrowed out. I'm going to do nine inches up top so the top quarter and I'm gonna do 12 inches and I'm gonna do nine inches the reason I'm doing the different spacing is because I'm trying to experiment around with the spacing and see works works best in our climate we'll get to dropping potatoes now I'm just gonna take them and drop them right in the trench cut side downwards Just using my hand as a marking gauge for about nine inches. Once I switch over to 12, I can use the tape measure and its actual markings. Now with all my potatoes in place, I'm gonna take a rake and move the soil back in on top of them. Just like that where they're completely covered over. Well, I hope you all like what you saw here today. It's been just plain brutal out here in this wind. But if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you're planning on going to the Mother Earth News Fair this year, there's a link in the show notes below and a coupon code that'll get you 10% off. Thank you all. Have a good day.